Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how you can set up your iPhone and use it as a personal hotspot or which is also known as tethering. Essentially tethering or personal hotspot allows you to use the mobile data connection on your iPhone uh, and connect to this through other devices such as an iPad or a tablet or even a laptop. Um, this can be useful if you're somewhere where there's no Wi-Fi uh, and you need to get online on your iPad for example uh, you can do this through the tethering personal hotspot feature of your iPhone and then get online through that. Um, I'll do the video in two steps. This first step will be how you set up the iPhone. Uh, I'll then pause the video and continue doing the guide on the iPhone. So. First of all, we're going to settings. Now, the fourth option down, you'll see personal hotspot. We need to touch that. After we've done that, we'll then be presented with this screen. Uh, now, the top option is called personal hotspot. We first need to switch that on. Now, switching this on makes your iPhone discoverable, which means that when you go into Wi-Fi networks on your iPad um, you'll see the name of your iPhone in the lists of uh, Wi-Fi ne network so in this example my iPhone name is Tolly's iPhone so when we went into the Wi-Fi networks on the iPad we would see Tolly's iPhone in there but obviously it'll be dependent on what your phone's called which you'll, whatever you will see um, once you've done that, you'll see Wi-Fi password. Now, it might be worth uh, jotting this down on a piece of paper exactly as it's shown. Um, and this will help you to uh, connect to the network when we're setting it up on the iPad later on in this guide. So, basically, once uh, you've done what I've just shown now, uh, we're already on the iPhone side. We just need to do the rest of the setup on the uh, iPad. So I'll just pause this video. In this uh, second part of this guide, I'll continue with uh, what needs to be done on your iPad to complete the tethering personal hotspot setup. Now, there might be parts of this guide that I can't fully show you. Um, basically, the software that I use to show these video guides well sorry to record the video guides on my uh, computer uh, they're dependent on using the Wi-Fi network well if I tether my iPad to my iPhone it uh, disables the Wi-Fi network that I use whilst I'm recording these guides but uh, I'll try and explain in as much detail as I can um, if I can't show you in this uh, video. So we're going to settings on the iPad. Oh, just took a bit of time to load up there. Um, once we're in here, if we touch Wi-Fi, now as I mentioned before, we would see my iPhone's name shown up under the list of uh, networks that we can see in the Choose a Network section. Now, whatever you call your iPhone, this would show up in this section here. Um, all, we would sim all you simply do then is to connect to the uh, personal hotspot of your iPhone. Is You just touch the entry which corresponds to your iPhone's name it will then ask for a password um, and this, the password is the uh, password that you've uh, the Wi-Fi password that you wrote down earlier on uh, once you've done that you'll be uh, connected uh, to your iPhone uh, and then you'll be then be able to use your iPhone's mobile data connection to uh, go online on your iPad um, you will notice that uh, when you join the network which corresponds to your iPhone you'll see a couple of little uh, well look like chain links um, at the top left of your screen where you can see the uh, Wi-Fi symbol in this video um, this little two link uh, symbol just indicates that you're 
connected uh, via the personal hotspot uh, feature. Um, I think that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.